Oh, the S20 is gonna be so good. Oh, hi there, wait. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today, we're going to talk about the wheels I'm most excited for in 2021 and possibly 2022 as of late 2020. One? Is it 2020 now or 2021? <laughs> you also don't know? Yes, 2021. Okay. 2021 year. As of 2021. So let me tell you more about it. Broadway. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are still in the hotel here in Bulgaria, coming back soon to Poland, but we are still here. And there is a lot of news coming from different manufacturers, different leaks. And yeah, it's just exciting. The whole year has been just sort of meh. Well, except for the V12, which is, I guess, a bit groundbreaking, but um, not that much. Anyways, now we have a fresh batch sort of on, of new leaks, new prototypes, new wheels coming. And I want to talk to you guys about them now these are only spec features some pictures also some prototypes I've seen personally with my own eyes that I'm very excited about <laughs> but now we have finally some exciting products to uh, look for and especially the Kingsong S20 that I'm gonna tell you about later in the video however we have a couple of manufacturers of wheels so let's get right into it and let's start with the I guess most obvious one um, what is the date here it was the 31st of um, July when Marty Bach <laughs> uploaded and sort of premiered the uh, new veteran Abrams. So from Lieber Kim, we know that a new wheel is coming. It will replace the veteran Sherman, which is discontinued also due to battery shortages because it was used in the 18650s. New wheel is going to use um, different ones. So a couple of key specs, probably you know, you know about them, but I will just give you my take on them. Uh, 22 inch wheel, so same like the Monster, not Monster Pro, same like the 100 volt Monster. A wheel size that will give you a lot of stability. However, with torque, well, we'll see how they figure out the motherboard controller situation. Battery is 2700 watt hours, uh, as they say, with Samsung 50E 21700 cells. So the same cells that pretty much everyone is using now when it comes to the size, but uh, Samsung's 50Es are not yet that common on wheels. Usually uh, manufacturers like Inmotion, uh, like Kingsong, and Gotway use LG cells. So to use Samsung, pretty cool. I, I've heard various stories about LG versus Samsung. Uh, I think they're sort of the same. Um, the specs are better on the Samsungs, but in real life tests, LGs perform very similarly. So just good that the batteries are there and <laughs> that they can manufacture the stuff. Now, uh, there is no indication here on his post, on, on Marty's post, uh, about the voltage. The rumors about the 117 volt system, so 28S, but then it will be kind of weird to see which configuration they have. And there, Dennis Hagoff made a pretty interesting post about it, um, that with a 117 volt configuration, it had to be either 2,600 or 3,100 watt hours. Um, so I don't know. I know about the voltage. It's not written here. If it would be 100 volt, then it would be three packs, like the big old EX, EXN, which would be weird um, because it would have to be asymmetrical. So I guess we have to just find out and see um, what the voltage will be. Oh, and it was rhyming. And the next point is improved water resistance. Couldn't really complain much about the water resistance on my Sherman. It was pretty good. Um, I guess the, the bearings could be better because mine died in. And some other people also had issues with, with the bearing on the Sherman. It should be also modular. This is a big question mark. Um, I know maybe additional battery packs or different light units, whatever. And it will be $3,700, which would be very expensive. Uh, especially that you don't get more range. So a couple of people were mentioning that, well, it's not really an upgrade if the battery range is smaller. And usually a range is a key deciding factor, not like the top speed, not the acceleration, but range. So this is quite weird that they decided to have less range, but yeah, I guess we'll see. When it comes to the pictures, it looks very, very similar, like all in all the shape to uh, the, Veteran Sherman. It has a couple of uh, improvements here. Um, the um, the box shape, sort of close to the uh, wheel, has been like cut off a bit, so we shouldn't uh, be able to 
scratch the casings on the bottom so easily pedals look uh, way higher than the old one all in all like the shape on on the upper layer where the lights are is also a bit different we have this off-road sign for some reason and the side panels are not flat so it might be a bit difficult to put on side uh, side pads we don't know yet we don't know because usually with these renders you know, they're, they're there but things change a lot in the final version so it is yet to see and the top looks exactly the same like the Sherman with a display and a um, trolley handle which will be in the middle so I'm looking forward for this wheel, uh, to this wheel for sure uh, it would be cool to see how a very powerful wheel with a 22 inch tire will perform if it will have the 117 volt system we are yet to find out I'm very curious to see uh, what the bedroom Abrams will be sadly no suspension nothing like really extremely groundbreaking but yeah I guess just a successor to the Sherman now there was also a picture of a veteran commander uh, I don't know if I have it open somewhere here let's check I think I have it saved on my phone here math pack cheers math pack made a shared a picture of it online so this is nothing um, yet Looks to be like a bit of a smaller wheel, like a 16 inch maybe, with cooled front lights. And all looks very chunky. I think this would be a very exciting wheel if it would ever see the light of day. But I guess it's just a render and we would have to wait and see if anything more pops up. But yeah, it looks very veteran indeed. But with that said, that's uh, everything I know from um, Leaper Kim from Veteran right now. So let's move on to the next interesting leak or that I have some special information for you there from various sources. So there will be a new Godway coming up and the exciting thing is that these wheels from King Song, from In Motion, from Godway will be if they release any suspension wheels this will be already the second generation of suspension wheels so we would imagine that there's a lot of a lot of improvements in those wheels compared to the first um, generation of suspension wheels so this is something we should be totally looking for i would really love to have a suspension wheel so, however at this point there's nothing on the market that would deliver me as much as i want of, uh, in terms of performance and range uh, as the wheels that don't have any suspension. So from Godway there will be a 100 volt 1800 watt hour wheel coming with suspension. It will have very similar performance to the RS. So if Godway or Bigotes could make something with better quality, with better waterproofing than the RS and yet it drives similar to the RS with suspension, that would be freaking amazing. Now I don't have much more information on this wheel but prepare there will be something new and cool probably coming from Bigo to Godway. Now there's also a picture on the internet, uh, I think also by Mapback. did he post one? Yeah, Mapback also posted one picture, uh, so you can check it out there. It looks, I guess, kind of ugly. I wonder why there is a Godway logo there, even though it's Bigo. <laughs> the rear suspension is like a ripoff from King Song, and the wrist just looks, I don't know, just like a big power pad, I don't know. Mixed feelings about that, I, I'm not really sure if that's a design for, for this new wheel. But hey, we can look at something, we can um, be, I guess, excited about the new Godway suspension wheel. From in motion, I have not really many, I don't have much information. There will be a V13 probably at some point. Uh, I don't know much more about it. I think it would be cool if they upgraded finally their teensy weensy MOSFETs to something that King Song or Godway uses. Here you can see on screen a comparison of the MOSFET size. Uh, if you don't know what MOSFET is, what MOSFETs are, essentially they are giving you the power from the battery to uh, the motor. So if they would use bigger ones, that'd be great. More power equals more fun, equals more, just more everything. <laughs> Anyways, now we are moving on to the company I'm most excited, most looking forward to, which is King Song. Yes, it is King Song, because even though you might think I, I didn't like the S18, I do like it. However, it's not for my use case. And if they would make a wheel that would be a bit faster and had a bit more torque and a bit more range, then I would love to ride a wheel like that. I'm not at all, you know, a uh, connected to, to, to a brand of UCs on the market. I just like the thing that writes the best for my use case. So there will be two new King Song models coming up and I've actually seen pictures, renders and a working prototype of um, these wheels. So the S16 
will be the wheel that will be coming out later. I don't know when, but this wheel will be coming out later. It will have suspension, which is amazing. And the suspension is very, very similar to the first suspension wheel I've ever tried on this channel. So, so if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. If you do, let us know in the comments. Uh, it will look very much like a Star Wars-esque design. It will look very modern, very simple. I'm just very excited for it. Kate is looking very much forward to the S16, even more than the S20, uh, and will look great. I don't have much specs on it, and I just know how it looks like. It looks great. You should be looking forward to it, and it will have a pretty more, more like enclosed shell, a bit more boxy looking, but. Yeah, very, very exciting, like Star Wars inspiration for sure. And the wheel I'm most excited about and probably a wheel that I will buy right away if I get my hands on one is the S20. Now, a couple of key features of the S20, uh, 2000 watt hours or more of battery, 126 volt system. So I think that's 30 S, 30 batteries in series. Very exciting uh, suspension motorcycle grade suspension so even better than on the s18 that's very exciting there's some uh production things happening in the background i can't tell you about but they're really dialing it this suspension to perfection and as we have seen on the s18 well this was the best uh, suspension i learned my lesson yesterday s18 did have the best suspension and this should be even better, which is very exciting. Uh, but even more exciting is that it will be 126 volt and it will be very powerful. So even with the good suspension on the S18, I kinda, it wasn't kind of tailored towards me. I needed more performance. And this will hopefully do that. Now it will be not as fast as the Sherman, as, uh, at least that's uh, what I heard. But for me, the torque would be the most important. It will have a shape more, inspired i guess by the s18 but it won't have the battery displaced in separate you know areas like the s18 has four packs front and back it will have just two packs as far as the prototypes or renders i've seen and will be in the middle so i think that the balance will be really great the waterproofing will be great and the durability of these packs should be also really great uh, anyways uh, it will have built-in power pads both on the top and then also jump pads and all in all design man the design is just so cool it will look SA, like s18 but just extreme so this is something i'm very much looking forward to uh, and it'll be coming very soon it'll be 20 inch wheel obviously but uh, it should be presented sometime this month or later so we are just about to witness the next performance wheel with suspension. So I'm very much looking to forward to the S20. Uh, S18 was good, but not enough in performance. And if, a, if they can deliver uh, a good enough suspension like the S18, even worse would be for me fine. But with loads of torque, with, I know, 60, 65 kilometer an hour top speed and a great balance and a good ride, then man, this will be the, the wheel of 2021 or possibly 2022. We don't know how the pr production will look like. But anyways, these are the wheels I'm really looking forward to as of mid, late 2021. And if you made it to this point, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to be updated about newest electric wheel developments and electric wheel tests and also other cool electric rivals. So, see you soon.